Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have a topic from uh, prosthodontics, but sometimes it is also asked in conservative dentistry that is CAD CAM. So, CAD CAM is a field of dentistry, uh, mainly prosthodontics, where the computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing is used to improve the design and creation of dental restorations. Uh, especially the dental processes uh, which includes crowns, uh, onlays, veneers, inlays, uh, the bridges, dental implant supported restorations, uh, maybe removable and fixed dentures, orthodontic appliances, all those things. So this technology, this CAD CAM technology allows the delivery of a well-fitting, aesthetic and a durable processes for the patient. So conventionally we were using the lost uh, wax technique. So lost wax technique uh, in the production of metal castings or uh, frameworks, their accuracy is greatly influenced by the properties of the impression materials, investment and casting alloy. This is nothing but uh, uh, a method of metal casting in which a molten metal is poured into a mold that has been created by means of a wax model. So once the mold is made, the wax model is melted and drained away. So with uh, the lost wax modeling method, the fit of a crown of the die can be satisfactory, but there are chances of errors and same time it is time consuming. So in order to replace this uh, time consuming and uh, chan the method which has got errors, we have computers to replace these designs and processing. That is nothing but CAD CAM. So we create milled restorations with accurate fit, digitalization of the prepared tool surface and converting these data into signals for the computer assisted milling. So this CAD CAM technology, which was developed in the late 1980s for dentistry which incorporates the uh, uh, milling technology and it significantly reduced or eliminated problems associated with dental castings. Now the CAD CAM production concepts. Depending on the location of the components of the CAD CAM system, uh, we have three different production concepts that is chair side production or laboratory production or centralized fabrication in a production center. So what are the components of CAD CAM? So this is the most crucial part of CAD CAM that is it has got three sections. The first one is a data collecting tool or scanner. It is just like uh, the impression method what we commonly do in uh, clinics. But here we have scanner in order to take the impression or collect the data. The second part is designing software that is like will be done by the computers or software and finally the processing device. So this is will be a summary of uh, the three techniques. This is a scanner we use to record uh, the impression. Then the computers with help of softwares will uh, determine all the required data. Then it will be transferred to the milling unit and finally the product will be ready. So the first one is scanner. It includes the data collection tools that measure three dimensional jaw and tooth structures. This is just like how we take a three dimensional impression using alginate, using impression compounds, a putty impression. So here we are using scanners and these data we transform into digital data sets. So there are two different scanning possibilities. One is optical and then the mechanical scanners. The optical uh, one is commonly used, it involves the collection of 3D structures in a so-called triangulation procedure. So this is uh, like a software and it is more of a uh, technological side. So uh, more than dentistry, to understand this uh, topic, we need to have a knowledge about the computers, its softwares and how it works. So I'm not going in detail about those parts. I'm just uh, giving a brief idea about the concept, the components and how it is done in CAD CAM. 
So this uh, triangulation procedure or when using optical scanners, the source of light and the receptor unit are in a definite angle and uh, which relationship to in the relationship to one another and this white light projections or a laser beam act as a source of illumination. The second one is a mechanical scanner here there is no light instead the master cast is read mechanically line by line by means of a ruby pole and the three dimensional structure measure. So this is like uh, mechanically we are doing without any help of the lights. So this is a ruby ball which is uh, measuring or which is recording the impression or in the cast that is three dimensional structure will be read mechanically line by line. So this type of scanner is distinguished by a high scanning accuracy whereby the diameter of the ruby ball is set to the smallest grinder in the milling system. So there is a ruby ball which will be attached to this one and this will record line by line the three dimensional details. So the problems with this mechanical scanning is it is very expensive and long processing times will be taken compared to the optical system. The second part that is the designing uh, of the impression or the define, designing or converting this data uh, into a final model. So this is uh, equal to the all the procedures which is done uh, in the lab that is investing uh, wax pattern all those things. So with the help of software this crown and FPDs uh, frameworks can be constructed. Some systems also offer the opportunity to design full anatomical crowns, partial crowns, inlays, uh, inlays, retain FPDs and telescopic primary crowns. So the software is available in the market. It is regularly uh, updated. This is an example of a software. The data will be transferred to this software and here we create our final model and later this will be transferred to the mill. So that is why I was saying uh, it needs a more of a technical skill than uh, a, a dental knowledge. This is mostly a software uh, thing which can be done by a software expert. So there are various types of uh, software is available in the market. So the data of the construction can be stored in various data formats. The basic a uh, format is a standard transformation language or STL data but uh, many manufacturers who use their own data formats specific to that particular manufacturer now the processing device that is the final part where the actual uh, the product is created so the construction data produced with CAD software are converted to the milling strips for the CAM processing that is a computer aided machine processing and finally loaded into milling device. So the device processing device are distinguished by means of the number of milling accesses. There are three types one is three axis, four axis and five axis devices. So this is a milling device where the three axis milling devices. So this type of milling device has degrees of movement in the three spatial direction that is x y z. So this mill path points are uniquely defined by the x, y and z values. So a milling of subsections, axis divergence and convergence is not possible. This demands a virtual blocking in all those axis divergence and convergence area. So the advantage is that it is a short milling time and simplified control. Also, these devices are less costly than those with a higher number of access. So, this is a basic uh, type of milling device. Now, we have uh, this is three axis. I hope you can see this three axis. Next one is four axis milling devices, in addition to three spatial accesses. The tension bridge for the component can also be turned infinitely variable. So as a result, it is possible to adjust the bridge constructions with a large vertical height displacement into the usual mold dimension. 
so that part will be added as a fourth axis okay so it saves material and milling time so you can see x y z and a so this a is nothing but a vertical height displacement dimension so in five axis milling devices in addition to three spatial dimensions and the rotatable tension bridge that is a fourth axis the fifth axis milling device has the possibility of rotating the milling spindle this enables the milling of complex geometries with complex shapes such as denture based resins so this is the most uh, sophisticated uh, milling device that is a five axis milling device now we have the milling types two types are there one is a dry processing and wet processing in dry milling process it is applied mainly with respect to zirconium oxide blanks with a low degree of pre-sintering the advantage is minimal investment cost for the milling device no moisture absorption by the dye zirconium oxide mold but the disadvantage is higher shrinkage value for the framework whereas a wet milling process the milling diamond or carbide cutter is protected by a spray of cool liquid against the overheating of the melt material so there will be a splashing of water so this is useful for all metals and glass ceramic material in order to avoid damage through heat development so this wet processing is recommended if zirconium oxide ceramic with a higher degree of pre-sintering is employed for the milling process uh, 3d printing also comes with this CAD cam so it is another manufacturing approach to build objects one layer at a time and adding multiple layers to form an object it is also known as additive manufacturing or rapid prototyping this is very commonly used 3d printing to recreate the lost orofacial structures so it may be used for the fabrication of metal structures either directly uh, either indirectly by printing in burnout resins or waxes for a lost wax process or directly in metals or metal alloys like FPD, RPD and polymerized processes and silicon processes. So the materials normally processed by CAD CAM systems includes metals, resin materials, silica based ceramics, infiltrated ceramics and oxide ceramics. So that was all about CAD CAM. Uh, this was a very brief uh, idea of CAD CAM the components its uh, milling processes and the design so the milling designs and the components and this uh, processing device then the designing software then the scanners and the three types of production so it was not a in detailed uh, session about CAD CAM the CAD CAM can be taken in a hundred slides for a one hour because it involves a lots of technical side uh, to explore about the software and all those milling process this is mainly to uh, write a short note or short essay in university question paper hope you understood the brief idea of CAD CAM uh, designing and milling so I'll come up with a new topic in dentistry and more thank you